these are the two presentations we're using. Pretty well imitating a large bait fish on the flats here. Start, oh yeah, that's him. That's a big fish. <laughs> that is a big fish. There we go. There we go. Convinced him. Well, there's a little hook up. G'day ladies and gents and welcome to another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. Guess what? We're in the new tub and finally it is time to take it fishing. This is a bit of a two-part episode. First up, we're heading down south to tee up with a mate of mine, Elksy. Here's a lizard wizard and we're going to try and cross paths with a few crocodiles. That is big flathead. And after that, we're going to take the tinny for a bit of a gallop, really stretch its legs and see if we can't find something a little bit bigger. Thanks very much for joining us, guys. Hope you enjoy the episode. Let's get fishing. <laughs> Have a go there. And our first session is going to be swim baiting for big old lizards, mate. This area pretty renowned for, for big trophy fish. It is, yeah. Uh, yep. Just got to convince one to eat. Now, I know this is a uh, maiden trip in the boat, but we're actually going to spend the first part of this video wading the flats. Uh, we've all got swim baits tied on. Lucky new lure there. The plan is to just sneak around and try and, um, yeah, entice a big lizard. And then we'll go for a play, I promise. We'll go for a play later. Oh, there she is in all her glory. Sitting pretty. When I said wading the flats, I didn't realise he meant swimming the flats. <laughs> First thing in the morning, I've got a wet... It's no good. That is no good. Wow. I did hear they like mullet. Well, that's the rumour. Let's hope it proves to be true. Oh, is that a follower? Potential follower just then. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it was a follower. Only a smaller fish. It is pretty cool. This would be prime surface country. Yeah. I'm almost tempted. I'm still that. Well, swim bait flooded are cool. Oh, yeah. Well, have a, have a little go. Well guys, I've changed it up to the old spin tackle and a bent minnow style lure. Just figured give us a bit of variety. Hayden's sticking with the swim bait. Said he did just see a fish, so it's a good start. Might be brim, are they? Oh, I reckon that's a little flat head. Still there. Eat it. some more attention. Always good videos when they do. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Convinced him. It's not a big fish, I don't think. Might be a little account opener. It's all we need. Yeah, just get the monkey off the back. There he is. Now we had this fish, pretty sure following it before. There he, there he is. Pretty little one. Hooked in the side, not my preferred hooking spot. 
you watch him put a hook into me. <laughs> you got bad luck with that too. Whoa. <laughs> I'm laughing about it, but it's going to happen. That's a swipe. Is there a yep. All right. All right. Now, I do apologise for the hat hair, but it's hard when you've got to carry everything that you're taking with you. But there it is there. Probably 50, 55 on the on the bent minnow. And that fish, I'm pretty sure we had some interest to cast before, and. Um, yeah, it's probably this guy. Come up and slurped it on a twitch. You chasing a feed? No, mate. All right. Well, if you chuck it down on this guy, give him a little release, see how quickly he disappears. Oh. That's camo. That is proper camo. You're walking along. Look at that. That is, that is a moving part of the sand flat. And he's gone. We're on the board. Happy with that. All right, these are the two presentations we're using. Show us that. Just uh, pretty well imitating a large bait fish on the flats here. Flathead will be eating those uh, whiting, mullet, uh, brim, all sorts of things. Um, I like the brighter colours, particularly a bit of pink and chartreuse. That's I, I, I'm a big fan. That's probably more of a naturally. Um, it probably was once chartreuse, but seen too many fish. Uh, but yeah, there's kind of two theories of thought there. Bright so they can see it, and also natural so it looks natural. But when flat are in the mood, I think being visible is more important. That's my theory. Yeah, that's it. If they're hungry, they'll have it. Right, right. Let's get another one. Oh, what is that? There we go. I looked away and I saw that fish on the surface. Is it tail hooked? Yeah. It came up and sat on it backwards. Not doing much. You reckon? No, I don't reckon it. No, it's a smallie. I wish upgrade. I had a bait. Hey? An upgrade. Yeah, yeah. That's, we'll cop the upgrade. I wish I had been watching. That fish come up and just, just silently. Just oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I should have gone over. Hang on, I'll go over. We're making this look hard. <laughs> That's what wading's all about. Just making it difficult for yourself. Yeah, he is at the next size up. Oh, yeah. Lovely little fish. If you were going to keep a feed of flathead, which we may still do, that's the size. That's the size you want. Still get a good fillet off them. It touched me. It touched me and there's trebles. This is horrible. There we go. Okay. Number two. Not bigger by much, but maybe... Yeah, he'd probably be 55 again. I don't know. You can't prove me wrong, so... It's a metre and a half, that one. There we go. 
Lucky boy. Magic. That's number two. We're trucking along quite nicely here. Where there's smoke, there's fire. They're up here for a reason. There's a lot of bait. So hopefully mum or dad is, uh, or actually mum. We'll go mum. Mum is kicking around and oh, there's dolphins up on the flats here too. Probably doing the exact same thing. Hopefully chasing the mullet, not our big flathead. But it's, uh, it's kind of spooky when you see a big fin swimming towards you. <laughs> Oh, 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 there's a big fish behind that. Come on. You record? Yeah. Oh, that was a good fish. He might still be there. Just missed it. That looked like it moved a bit more water. Yeah. You just make it work. Oh, that's it. Got him. Is that him? Yeah. Good one. Oh, he moved some water. Here we go. It's really stuck. Oh, yeah, that's him. That's a big fish. <laughs> I just saw it roll over. That is, that is a big fish. That's the one. That is a very handy fish. Yeah. Where's the fight on him? He's too too full. That's what we came here for. Well, you did say your first fish was going to be a 74. What are your thoughts? You go pretty close to that, I think. Geez, you weren't going to run out a leader. Is that is that a theory? Let's hope so. <laughs> we'll soon see. Oh, it's that camo leader. Whoa, yeah. That that's a nicey. That is that is a real nice one, mate. Hold that up. Yes. Get your pretty face in there. <laughs> nice healthy fish. There you go. Scoff the swimmy. Nice fat one too, mate. That's a... Yeah. Good fish. You, you fished here a fair bit. That's kind of... Is that a typical size? That's, that's a, on the better end? Yeah. Throw on your bigger class baits. That's a pretty average size fish, yeah. Lovely. Yep. Well, nice. You didn't miss it. That, that treble was going nowhere. Nice and fat. Yeah. I'm not surprised with the amount of bait that's up here at the moment. Bit of a swipe, but we'll take him. Lovely, lovely Thank work. You. Now let's see you get those hooks out without getting spiked. Yes. Alright, send him on his way. Lovely fish. And again, straight back to where he came from. Not scared. Well done. Success. Wait, it's a win already. And yes, it is still a boat video. Look at that. Still there. Oh. You got him. Oh, it doesn't feel too bad, but that was like two twitches in. Got a good head shake on him. Oh, he's running towards me. No, he's just another schoolie. Hey champ, you were very proactive. <laughs> Let's come say hello. Oh, he's just, just touching base with the boys. That was sick. Two twitches. Must have landed right in his head. It's amazing the class, that little bit better class of fish you get from throwing those little bit bigger baits. Oh, there's me opening. Yes! There you go. Quite often these fish are hooked in the side, not in the mouth with the bent minnow. They kind of swipe at it. They don't get as long to, to suss it out like a um, glide, which they also swipe at, but quite often you'll see a big glide go down the hatch as well. There you go. 
that's flathead number four for the morning. That's bloody good fishing, good qual quality of fish too. If you were fishing the bloody class, you'd be stoked. Mm. You'd be ticking away some points. Oh, there's fish. Come on, eat it, little fella. Oh! Trying to kiss it. They're, um, green tree. Mmm. The little ones, at least. The big ones seem to be having a bit more of a go, or were. Yeah. There we go. Hey. That was on a big pause. Yeah. Mid story. Can't even have a, have a story. Well, I've changed lure that it's... Oh, he's, he's swiped at it. I'm the king of hooking flat, flathead backwards. Oh, it's one of those little ones. Oh, no. He may have tried to mate with that. I've changed lure. I've gone from the bent minnow to the bone focus. And if we've had a heap of follows from fish around this size, and this guy's just got a little bit too close and um, found himself hooked. There you go. See you, mate. Ooh. Start shivering, mate. Get some cages. Well, at least it's not raining. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's you worse. oh, it's getting worse. <laughs> oh, that's that's me sack. Uh, yeah, shark hide. So they they gave it a brush, yeah. so it's brushed, and then um, the shark hide. So it's like water repellent. Oh, after you, kind sir. No, mate, you jump in. Oh, I'm not going to fight you for it. Oh. Yep. Just when you think it's warm, it's not. It's not. Well, guys, we've been lucky to get stuck into a few of the uh, school-sized fish, but it's time to bring out the big guns and get it done. Pearl Affinity has claimed plenty of big fish. Got a different section of bank here. Let's see if I can't razz one up. Surprisingly enough, you do get plenty of small fish on them as well. I've caught like 45 centimetre flathead on these guys. I don't know what it is. You miss those middle sized fish, you go small and big. Let's see what we can do. That's a good start. One in the water. Fish on? Yep. Here we go. Is he going to wake up for us? He's, he's doing the shake, the small fish shake. Yeah, he's a surfboard. <laughs> um, Hang on, explain the surfboard. What's the surfboard in flathead terms? Juveniles, they just sit on top and you just give them straight in. Okay, I get it now. Well, I was racking my brains for a bit there, like surfboard, is he... Oh, I, he's, he's not too bad. He's a long board, he's not a, he's not a short board. Yeah, I think, I think you've cut, sold yourself short there. Oh, he's a nice fish and a bit of a change in, um, in presentation for you too. Yeah. Do you want to pole him or net him? Famous last words. I tell you what, if we were eating flathead, we would have the primest feed. You don't need it. They're good class fish. They are great class. It's like just a good solid. We haven't we haven't caught the monster today, but we're we're not finished. Oh, lovely work. It is a crazy how resilient fish is. Everyone goes, oh, a bit of blood, a bit of blood, and then you see one come in that's missing his whole tail, and you go, oh, he's flying. He, send him home. Just like a blood nose. Got him. Size? Is he bigger than he thought? A little breakthrough at least. Just pinned him. 
So it's been a while between fish, mate. Good to see another one gracing the uh, the scoreboard. He's a nice yeah. fish. Oh boy, he's only just pinned. Do you want the lip grips or are you going to risk it for the biscuit? Go on then. Whoop, there you go. That's why you use nets. Yeah, so they say. Slide fish. Go on. Help you release. Didn't hang around. No, I wouldn't either. No, nah, true, true. Couple of ugly looking mugs looking at you. Fish there. What do you reckon? One solid twitch down. No. No. Don't race across the flat. Well, mate, we casted long, hard, good flurry in the morning, then they kind of shut up shop for us. Gave it our all. We did. It's uh, well and truly dark now. And, uh, yeah, the big girl eluded us, but that's all right. That's floody fishing in a nutshell. Got the bug back. I've got the bug back. Addictive. The, the big brown flatfish. They, uh, they grow on you, especially if they're uh, going to eat big cool swim baits and surf stores and all that sort of stuff. Mate, thank you very much for taking us out. Anytime, mate. Thank you for showing Anytime. us the ropes down here. Absolute Pleasure. cracker. I'll be back. And we've got a date with a big girl. There's a 90 with your name on it. That sounds bad. If you if you isolate that, we've got a date with a big girl, but you guys <laughs> get it. I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next spot. Now, guys, I did have every intention of chasing another big flathead, but somehow along the way, I got a little bit distracted, packed the deep divers, and ended up snapper trolling. You get that on the big jobs. Well, there's a little hook up. Doesn't feel real big. Doesn't feel real big at all. Might be a bit foul hooked, is he? A bit foul hooked, but it is the right species. Easy there, fella. Well, there you go, ladies and gents. <laughs> we got one, it's a uh, it's barely even a squire. I'd probably put it more in the uh, red brim category. But we trolled up a snapper. You beauty. <laughs> See you later, mate. Now I know you guys were keen to see some more running shots, so what better chance to uh, give you the run down than a quick solo run? Across some bay chop. Came out early this morning. Nice dry ride. Haven't been wet yet. And I'm happy about that because, geez, it's cold. Well, legends, unfortunately, that is all we've got time for this week. Don't you worry. We still have that date with the big girl, Elksy and I. We're going to go back and get revenge. Don't you worry about that. And I have some big snapper in the crosshairs as well. So a couple of videos to look forward to in the near future. Obviously, again, big shout out to Elksy for showing us around that day. Great fun fishing with him. And overall, very, very, very impressed with how the new boat is performing. I can only see the adventures getting more and more exciting from here on in. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Really hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you're all safe and well, and I'll catch you next week for another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. Cheers.